Peter. Peter. Peter, I'm inclined to be reasonable, but my car has been in the shop less than 24 hours. I've got a bill here for $1,137.26. I told you your car might need a new alternate. You did not tell me that I would need a mortgage to pay for it. I mean, will you look at this? Are we at war with Germany? I don't know it. That's why these parts are so expensive. I mean, your labor costs uh, are your please. good, Peter, but this is a... Please, you're over the limit for this credit card. They won't accept the charge. Well... There's obviously been a mistake. I have other cards. Tell you what, I'll write you a check. Listen, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to have lunch as planned. An old friend stopped by. Yeah, oh, yeah. Old friendships are sacred, I understand. Really. Um, I could just take that check that you owe me for $6,000 and we could do lunch later. Oh. It's a beautiful. First rate. It's fabulous. Oh, my. Glad you're pleased. You really nailed them. I love it. You know, first these bozos, they try and beat the company for disability benefits. The next day, they turn around, they join a tennis club. And it's not like they're starving, you know. These guys make big bucks, which is scary when you think about it, because they're very stupid. Here's my favorite. I call him my April Fool. He looks like an April Fool, doesn't he? Yeah, an April Fool. Right. Well, um, thank you for the champagne. And we don't want to keep your old friend waiting, so I'll just take my check and... Hey, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you stop by my office tomorrow? I will do all cash. What's wrong with that? Look, it's no taxes. It's an extra 30% in your pocket instead of Uncle Sam's. Three months, three months to my work, Chuck. No check, no pictures. All right, you don't want cash? It's no problem. I'll write you a check right now. My checkbook's in my briefcase. I'll be right back, huh? Stop. I'll be right back. Show crowds are in season. Bob Johnson of Channel 2 is all set to go live on this for the one o'clock news team. He wants us to hold up the body so we can get an establishing shot. Yeah, and the people in the hell want ice water. What does he think this is? Entertainment tonight? He mentioned something about getting his sister Springsteen tickets. Yeah. Ask the EMS guys to turn around and wheel the body in on cue. Remind them I have the meds tickets they were asking for. The fact sheet about what we got so far. It's a private investigator. Yeah, I ain't seen her, but he's got great legs. We get a name on her? Karen, any relation? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he was my client and we were having a drink at the bar. Is that a problem? Problem? Why should there be a problem? When I give my statement to the press, I'll close by saying, oh, by the way, the mystery woman who was waiting for the victim at the bar? She's my sister. Well, it's the truth. My job is public information, not truth. One has nothing to do with the other. Who was he? He was an executive with Century Life. So what do you think? I think I'm out $6,000. I was just here to deliver these pictures. These guys were all guilty of insurance fraud. How about murder? I don't know. Maybe. Claire, I need you out of here. Forget talking to the detectives. I want you to take what you have straight to the district attorney's office. You don't sound pleased. He didn't have the tapes with him. I think Chuck had a partner. Who was he? She. I tend to find out. 
I think she's got the tapes. So by the time I got through the crowd, he sprawled out on the floor. And there's blood everywhere. I mean, there's a lot of blood. It's not funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, I always do that when something makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. What I was thinking was, is what if you were next to him when whoever it was shot him? Well, I could have saved him, yeah, I guess. Only you would say that. You could have been killed. So what are you going to do now? Go out and get in more trouble? No. Case is over for me. I just want to get paid. Okay. You know, they wanted me to take this case. So what happened? Does it look like I could handle anymore? You know, I finally figured it out. I'm being groomed for the Bizarre Crimes Unit. Ooh. Ice pick murders. Uh-huh. The you'll never get out of this cult alive case. My favorite. The one I read on the IRT at night. The subway slasher. Oi. <laughs> Who did get the case? I might have some. Thanks, Your favorite ex-co-worker, mm -hmm. Celia Chapman. Uh, no, what was the blood out? Claire! Love what you've done with your hair. Thank you. Social visit? Oh, no, it's business. I have some information for you. I understand you're working on the Chuck Saban murder. He was my client. I was investigating these three people. For attempting to defraud his insurance company. We'll look into it, but I think we've already got a way to go on this one. Does it involve any of these three people? No. Turns out Chuck was part of an investigation we already had in progress. He was into cocaine, owed his dealers a lot of money. Wait a minute. Are we talking about the same Chuck Saban? He's an executive It seems he led a double life. On the one hand, a legitimate insurance executive. On the other, a real low life. You should choose your clients more carefully, Claire. You should choose your clients more carefully, Claire. Who does she think she is? Forget it. She's not worth it. Hey, Sue and I are going to this workshop on how to write and respond to the personal ads and classifieds. Do you want to come? Well, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I just think we need to know what our options are. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, like singles night at the Parama supermarket. I thought that was Sue's idea, too, right? Yeah. Thanks. Get together tomorrow, then? I'm seeing Rob. The entertainment lawyer? The one you met skeet shooting? See, he did ask you out. Well, it's actually more of a pre-date. We're gonna go to Hudson Bay and have a drink. No obligation, no commitment. And then if we both like each other, then we'll make a date. Sue and I are going to Hudson Bay tomorrow. Really, we talked about it last week. Our dealings restricted with Chuck. If Chuck hired you, you were working for him, not Century. All freelancers that he hired are strictly his own affair. Miss, uh, McCarran? Yes. Your car is waiting downstairs. Here are your tickets and your dinner reservations are confirmed. I bet he is just a delight at that company picnic. <gasps> I, I'm Donna Ricci. I, I was Chuck's assistant. Yes. Yeah, we've talked on the phone. A few times. Yeah. Were you with him when it happened? Yeah. Did he ha have any idea? Um, he seemed in very good spirits. He seemed very up. Oh, yeah. I bet he seemed up. Well, not anymore, he isn't. one-way relationship. Chuck's first love was cocaine. Did the company know about this? Probably. They couldn't care less as long as he continued to make money for them. They're animals here. How could he be a druggie and do such a good job? He had an edge. You want to see some of the tools of his trade? Yeah. Pass keys, fake IDs, and wiretapping equipment. He'd get into your home illegally. That's how he made so many cases. The time he hired me, it was just a document that he already knew. The company loved it. He got results. I have to go to the bank. I'll walk you out. But you want to know the worst part? I'm going to miss Chuck. He made me happy. I thought I could change him. My problem is I see things as they could be. You know how that is? Yeah, I know how that is. Take care of yourself, Diana, okay? 
And look, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. company should pay me. It's not fair. Claire, wake up and smell the coffee. A fair insurance company? That's a contradiction in terms. I know what's wrong with you, Jeffrey. You suffer from terminal negativity. Precipitated by being your business manager. Your company's a fiscal nightmare. I told you the first year would be rough. You would have to watch your overhead. What overhead? Did you realize what you spend in restaurants? I can't cook. What are you talking about? I had the best coco van my life in your place. To impress people, I learned how to make one thing. Coco van. Oh, no, I lied. I can make two things, oatmeal, raisin, cookies. You don't need a Porsche in the city. People kill for garage space. I've got one for free because I found Beckman's daughter. Fine. Buy a Camaro. In California, you drive a Porsche. In California, everyone drives a Porsche. The guy who delivers your paper drives a Porsche. You can afford to. He's not paying the rent here. And that's one area in which you could do yourself a lot of good. What about a roommate? You uh -huh. got that big rent control apartment. I you can't. pay next to nothing for. God forbid you should listen. It's a loan for $2,000 from your pension fund. My pension fund? I, I didn't know I had any money in a pension fund. That's because if you did, it wouldn't be there. My dream is to have a place with the view of the Hudson. Naturally, everyone discouraged me, said, don't get your hopes up. Oh, I'd love to be your roommate. My work schedule is very erratic, Fawn. Is that your given name? Uh-huh. <laughs> I come and go at all hours. Oh, me too. Next week, I have a shoot for Bloomingdale's. The photographer wants us to be at the cloisters at dawn. I don't even know what the cloisters are. But that's the way it is in New York. Those who apply themselves just do so well. Well, most people, yeah. Um, I don't think this is going to work out. Oh, why not? My dog. No, I didn't tell you about my dog yet. Very big, doesn't like just anyone. Dogs love me. Let's see. Clyde, come here. Come on, Billy. Oh, yeah. Well, who do I make the check out to? <laughs> just folded his hands. That's trouble. Hmm. Guy at five bucks says he asked her out. You're on. You know, most people don't like bluefish. They think it's too oily. Well, that's because they've never had a fresh. See, my dad would not eat a fish that was out of the water more than six hours. Exactly. You know, you are really an original. <laughs> um, is your father a private investigator, too? No, no, he was NYPD major case squad. And he worked very hard to get me through law school. So I promised him that I would not be a cop. But I wasn't really happy being an assistant district attorney either, so... So being a private investigator is kind of a middle road that lets you keep your promise? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> now, my brother is exactly the opposite story. He promised my dad that he would be a cop. And he hates police work. I mean, I think he's going to wind up being mayor or something someday. <laughs> You know, the Knicks come home to play Boston tomorrow night. Um, I've got tickets. Would you like to go? Yeah. Here they come. So, how'd it go? It's taking me to the Knicks game tomorrow night. <laughs> well, Amina, that's disgusting. <laughs> Drop you someplace? Ah, oh, no, it's all right. I got friends waiting inside. So, um, what's a good time to call you tomorrow? 
Oh, I... Um, yours? Yeah. The firm said I could lease anything on four wheels, but uh, they didn't know I was a Porsche file. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You want to drive it? Turbo really packs a wallop, so if you're not prepared, it can be alarming. Thanks. Yeah. Claire, smile. It's not the end of the world. I, mean, I do this all the time. I blew it. So hey, don't cool. be so hard on yourself. He didn't break the date, did he? No. Then by tomorrow's water under the bridge. But if he doesn't call? Then it's another one down the drain. It's a joke. Uh -huh. Hey, it's a joke. Sure, when it happens to me, it's a joke. It happens to you, it's Medea. It looks like a guy I met at Joe Allen's once. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what is she doing? Models are supposed to eat carrot sticks, not pizza. She told me she could eat anything she wants. She never gave them out. <laughs> I'm not gonna like Fawn, am I? You okay? You look very handsome. Commissioner's charity ball. I left in the middle of his thank you speech. <laughs> Listen, Susan's downstairs. We'll take you home with us. I'm not going to Rockland County. We'll you stay over. Keep a man in uniform downstairs tonight. We'll do, Lieutenant. Short day for burglaries. It wasn't just a burglary. He wanted tapes. What tapes? I don't know. But it was for when they killed me for him.
Thanks for dropping me off. Oh, I appreciate your staying over. Would you let me know if Silly has anything on Chuck Saban's murder? If Thin Lips will tell me anything. Uh, hey, you don't think what happened last night's connected, do you? No. No, I'm just curious. Claire. What? Look, I cannot park here all day. Call me. Okay, well. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Karen, I rented a car from you the other day. I'm uh, contract number 36606. Did I sign for first dollar collision coverage? I did. Well, thank you very much. Terrence Considine. I don't care if you don't like it. There's a madman out there who tried to kill you. No, we were exaggerating. He just wanted no, to... No, uh, Fine. When we find out what tapes, I'll call this off. No, no. No way! I have got a business to run, not to mention a personal life. The people that hire me expect confidentiality, not some little appendage telling me at every corner. Why don't you'll manage. No, I don't have collision insurance, okay? You can't give me police protection if I don't want it. Uh, actually, no, that, that was more of a personal thing. Stay out of this. Um, there must be some element of your work as a private investigator that's full of adventure, dangerous even at times. Well, no, it's just kind of dull and kind of routine, really. No, <laughs> What about when you're tailing someone, keeping them under surveillance? Do it very much. That hardly ever happens, hardly ever. <laughs> <laughs> you carry a gun? Yeah. Firing range. <laughs> Listen, how would you feel if we got to the garden early and watch practice? Let's go. Great. They just pulled that ahead of us. That's a friend of mine. Do you think he's going to check too? Sure.
I'm very sorry. I was asked to follow someone into the park, so I did. The next thing I know, I hear duck and my windshield blown out. I had no idea. I didn't even get a look at the guy. Hey, listen, that firebird was stolen from Bensonhurst a couple of days ago. It's kind of chilly out here. I thought you might like some soup. No, I don't want any soup. I just want you to leave me alone, okay? It was rough on you, and I'm, uh, I shouldn't have done that. There was no reason. I apologize. Now, do you want to spend the night out here, or do you want to come on up? I said I was sorry. You want to watch some TV? Yeah. What are you doing? I can't just do nothing, just watch it. Um. Hey, why don't you divide these up into four rows of 20 each? You can help me make cookies. Oh, cookies. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. Some nice chocolate chips. Oatmeal raisin. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The only good cookie is a chocolate chip cookie. It has to be oatmeal raisin because that's the only cookie that I know how to make. Okay, oatmeal raisin. Scared. Whoever it is out there, he's got me <sighs> frightened. I know. I don't blame you. is what it comes down to. What's happening to me is connected. I know it. My only connection to Chuck is with these three guys. Listen, what are you going to do with all these cookies? Drop them off at the daycare center on the way to work. That's what I usually do. You do that on a regular basis? Well, I'm trying to figure something out. Yes, I do. So, now what? If Chuck, who we know is an operator, what if he was blackmailing one of these three guys? That would fit his personality, yeah. Especially since Donna, his girlfriend, said that he would stoop to anything, including tapping somebody's phone to get the goods on them. Which would explain why someone's looking for tapes. Chuck's blackmail tapes. I think you just jumped the track here. Now, it's true these guys were breaking the law. Yeah, but not for a ton of money. I mean, you don't just croak somebody because they threatened to expose you for trying to cheat the insurance company out of a few bucks. Can you get me into Chuck's apartment? Now I'm convinced one of these three guys killed him and the answer to which one might be in there. There's a police seal on that apartment. I mean, that's part of an ongoing investigation. The only way I could possibly get in there would be to lie. I'm a lousy liar. I mean, if I'm caught, that's a felony. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, Terrence, this is my roommate, Fawn. Fawn, this is Terrence. 
Uh, Claire didn't mention that she had a roommate. How was that party? Fabulous. What can I say? I love New York. I'll get changed. Is that what your friends call you? Terry? Yeah, some do. Well, obviously, Fawn prefers Terry to Terrence. I mean, but with a name like Fawn, she wouldn't make that choice. Why, you don't like the name Fawn? Well, I just wonder what one does with a name like Fawn later in life. I mean, think of children calling her Aunt Fawn or Grandma Fawn. Well, I think what happens is when you reach that age, you switch to a middle name. Oh, like what? Bambi? Listen, while you try to get us into Chuck's apartment, I want you to drop me off at Donna Richie's place. Hey, what? No, uh-uh. No, I, I'm not leaving you alone. I'm not comfortable doing that. She's not going to tell me anything while you're standing there. You know that. I swear I will not leave her building without you. Hi, this is Donna. Please leave a message at the tone. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Donna, it's your mother. Hi, Mom. What is it? You haven't left for work yet? I was about to leave for work right now. I'll know today if I have a job or not. <laughs> Come in. Hi. How are you? Oh, <laughs> I've been better. Thanks to Chuck, most of our furniture has been repossessed, which is why my roommate is moving out. Still picking up the pieces. I know this is bad timing, but do you recognize any of these men? Thought you weren't getting involved in this. Oh, believe me, I did my best not to. I think one of these may be Chuck's murderer. You don't get it. I want to play something for you. It's still running. They're supposed to fix this. Go back far enough. Hey, this is it, Chucky. I'm through looking all over creation for you. Either you meet me tonight with 20 big ones, or that's it, pal. You're a memory. That's who killed him, his drug dealer. Police are looking for him. Mm. Well, I'm not so sure. When Chuck would wiretap people, did he ever show you where he kept the tapes? No, I never saw any tapes. Sure? Yeah. Go to Chuck's apartment. So you're wasting your time. Unless you're looking for coke and look inside the legs of his ironing board. All right. Oh, wait. We're hiding in place, too. I think this is a waste of time. I mean, you said yourself you heard some coke dealer threaten his life. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is strange. Why would a guy Keep one copy of an old New York Post. What's the headline? Tuesday, April 1st, 1986. So long, tough guy. Hey, this is the day Cagney died. Well, maybe he was a Cagney fan. Would you help me with this, please? Oh, my. Geez, there's got to be thousands of dollars in here. Look at this. Donna was right. What's he doing with all this money? Lack of cash is not why he was killed. Mm. You know, $6,000 of this money. Goes Should've... to the property clerk. I know. $6,000 of this money is mine. Mm. So, what do you think of my theory now? Well, Chuck had money, so maybe he was trying to blackmail one of your three guys. And maybe one of them just got tired of it. Mr. T. 
tennis, Larry Dennison's not only cheating the insurance company, he's cheating on his wife, too. Look at this. He filed for divorce, and his babysitter hit him with a paternity suit. Nice. I don't really think Chuck could have been blackmailing and Harry the horse. This guy is in serious debt. Makes me look like a solid citizen. Yeah, it doesn't seem to stop him from living well. Look at this. Riding clubs, Central Park, West Co-op, sailboats. Sailboats? Repossessed. You know, you tell that Willie to get some updated information. She doesn't fool around. She was a Wall Street acquisition specialist. Yeah, talk about your license to steal. Terrence, look huh? at this. This is the weight lifter, the guy that Chuck called his April Fool. Andrew Fisher, CEO, Helicopter Research. Hmm. Now read the bank statement. So he withdrew $20,000 in cash four days ago. Yeah, the same $20,000 we found in Chuck's apartment. Maybe, maybe. We gotta get back in there. Wait a minute, hold it. It's a miracle we got in there once. You want to do it again? He had a post dated April 1st in his apartment. So we go to the library. We look it no, up in no. the microfilm. It's not the same. April 1st is April Fool's Day. That's, that, that's what Chuck called this guy, his April Fool. The answer to why he was blackmailing him could be in the newspaper. That's why he was saving it. Partners of helicopter research were involved in a traffic fatality when the car driven by one of the partners went down an embankment. Charles Harris was killed in the crash and his partner, Andrew Fisher, survived with sustained neck injuries. And, uh, the company was recently awarded a government contract worth $15 million. Sounds to me like uh, Chuck's April Fool was on the move. Fisher killed his partner to gain control of the company. That neck injury was fake. He was never in that car. Yeah, but Fisher would need help to pull that off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how Chuck found out about it. Checking on the neck injury, he tapped Fisher's phone, heard him talking to his accomplice about the murder. I'm going to go call the detectives assigned to this case. I think if we can get some phone records together, we have enough to bring in Mr. Fisher right now. Those tapes exist. Yeah, but where? They found traces of a sedative in his bloodstream. Relax. If they suspected you of murdering him, you'd know it by now. Just make sure your neck injury passes muster. Hi, this is Donna. Please leave a message at the tone. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Donna, you're not at the office. Is something wrong? Are you there? This is your mother. M Mom, there's nothing wrong. Then why aren't you at the office? M Mom, I, I can't talk now. I'll call you back later. Are you all right? I'm fine, Mother. I'm fine. Goodbye. Yes? Do you have the money? I told you I would. I know where we can make the exchange. I told you I'm calling the shots on this, not you. You have exactly one hour. You bring the money to the woman's skating rink. All right. I'll do it your way. She's not a fool. Neither am I. I don't know where Donna is. Well, I called her office today and she was fired. Did you know that? I couldn't care less. Hi, this is Donna. Please leave a message at the tone. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Donna, Ben Hartwell. When you cleaned out your desk, you didn't turn in your office keys. I want them on my desk, but in one morning or I'm turning the matter over to security.
before. Claire, where's Terrence? Why isn't he with you? enough to bring him with me, do you? Where are they? <laughs> My apartment. Don't cry. Stop crying. Stop crying. What's happening, sugar? Sweet thing? Uh, you like jelly beans? No, thanks. Well, you see, she doesn't have time to listen. She's in a hurry. Look, why don't you just give us the porch, and uh, we'll park it for you, huh? We'll take real good care of it, just like it was our own. I'm not going to say it again. Stay away from the car. Hey, let's go get her, man. What you do? Mom. Try your answering machine? Yes. You know, there's no reason he should call. He had a job to do, he did it. That's it. You think he's going with someone? I don't know. I'll call you back. Hi. Hi. So, did my brother decide to have me tailed again? No, no, no. That's not why I'm here. a few dozen of those oatmeal raisin cookies. I'll even help you bake. What do you say? I thought that the only good cookie was a chocolate chip cookie. You said that, didn't you? Well, yeah, but I was young, inexperienced. It was before you showed me the way. do not like to be messed with. Tread lightly. Who's funeral is it anyway? Bruno Biondi's. Not the Bruno Biondi whose enemies end up under Ed 16 of the New Jersey Turnpike. Yeah, same. Luca DiCenzo staring at your lady. He's the last one I'd want to mess around with. He liked to work with piano. 
Radio Wire. Tonight on West 57th, Lily Tomlin, a talk with the actress, the comedian, the person. This and more on the season premiere of West 57th, tonight. Tomorrow on CBS Sports, get the latest strike news on the NFL Today.